Hey guys, Peter here. Just got into the office, it's just past 9 a.m. Sydney, Australia time. Got a notification on the train ride over that I've been accepted to Google Search Labs and very eager to kind of see what Google's gonna throw away. So I thought I'd do a little screen um, grab at the same time and, and kind of uh, show everyone what, what's to come. I was gonna get into it. Um, I'm gonna go into one of these examples that they've given us here. I've enabled code and sheets, but I'm really eager to see what search is got going on. So let's go into this here. Okay, so it looks like they've given us an example query here um, to play around with. Potty training a rescue dog. Got the generated answer here, very similar to what we've seen in BARD and GPT. Got some organic results here. Looks like it's a carousel. Nine results. Let's click on this little toggle here. Looks like it's expanded the organic results here to kind of categorize them into various different areas. Here are some tips. Okay, kind of like a guided answer maybe um, based on search results. This is a carousel as well, okay. <clears throat> Let's do, okay, before we do that, we've got your traditional organic results here, it's cool. Let's go through and do a follow-up question. How long does it take to potty train um, a rescue dog? Okay, so this is obviously going into conversation mode. Um, so you can see up here that's a follow-up question to my original question. And then it kind of just continues on. Okay, same sort of deal here. More organic results. You can get more. Okay, so it's clear that this would be a highly valuable place uh, for SEOs moving forward. I imagine this would get tracked in Search Console as a feature um, feature listing. Okay, let's continue on here. Let's go back to Search. Curious to see what one of these vertical options do here. So let's go into, let's go into Videos. Cool, this looks like a standard video result. Let's go back here. Let's do shopping. That's interesting. Pretty standard though. That's what I would have expected to see. Okay. did a query before, let's see if I've got it here. Best SUV buys 2023. This is interesting, more of a purchase style query. So this is interesting. So you've got a list of SUVs here. I think what it was um, interesting is that you can't actually click on these. There's no option to continue on. You've got this uh, carousel that we've seen earlier. Let's see how they categorize that out. Cool, so now you've got options to go to various different publishers and they are um, citing the, the content. These are all organic results. Links. News. This is all standard. I wonder what. Let's go compact. What does that do for us? Okay, 
so it's altered my search query here to best compact SUV to buy in 2023. This is kind of suggestive search, I guess. I like how it's changed the color here. Looks like it's toggled compact. Let's do hybrid as well. Okay, so it's flipped it over to hybrid. Oh no, it's added on hybrid. So best compact SUV to buy in 2023 hybrid. Cool. Sources from the web. That's cool. Don't know if this. Um, well, obviously, I'm in Australia, and I don't know if this is an American, um, you know, a US style result set that um, I'm not familiar with. But this is kind of the first time I've seen this. <coughs> okay, there you have it, people. Um, just a little play around. We might do a couple more videos. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want to see.